All right, so in this video, we are gonna find the points of intersection between a quadratic function and a linear function. Uh, now, the important thing to remember is you have three possibilities. Let's say I have a quadratic function like this and a linear function like this. I have two points of intersection. I can also have a quadratic function like this and then a linear function like this and there's only one point of intersection. And my third case could have a quadratic function like that, a linear function like that, no points of intersection. Now for all three methods, it's the same procedure to follow over here. You just wanna make the first equation equal to the second equation. Then you wanna move everything to one side and make it equal to zero. I'm gonna move the three x and the negative 10 to the other side and change the signs. Then you can combine like terms if possible. And then at this point, you either factor or solve with the quadratic equation. In this case, I can factor with my man method. So my m is 10, my a is negative seven, my two numbers are negative five and negative two. So I have x minus five, x minus 2 equals to 0, so x equals to 5, and x equals to 2. Now these are only the x values of my points. I still need to find the y values of my points by solving it back into either of the original equations. So I'll write these as points 5, comma. If I sub in 5 into this equation, that's 15 minus 10, I get a y value of 5 as well. And if I sub in two in this equation, three times two is six, six minus 10 is negative four. So these are my two points of intersection of these two functions.